Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Glad to see you here. I know it's bright and early. I'm proud of you for being here. <laughs> Welcome to Stretch and Strengthening. Move with MCB. Happy to see all of you. Good morning. Thank you for joining. Good morning, everyone. Hello. Hi, welcome to my home. <laughs> Good morning, rise and shine. Welcome to 830, stretch and strengthening. Hello, thanks for joining everyone. <laughs> Hi, I am Samantha Galler. I am a soloist with Miami City Ballet and I'm excited to be here with you today. And I know it's early, so we're gonna just do some light stretching, some strengthening. I'm gonna take you through my routine um, before my warm up, before my day, and um, I hope you enjoy it. And I'm gonna just have some light music on. You're gonna need. Good morning. Good to see everybody. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. <laughs> Move with MCB appreciates it. We're here to help you, help the community, and. Hope this brings joy to you and helps you keep um, art in your life right now. I know it's a difficult time. And so what you're gonna need today, for those of you just joining, um, I'm Samantha Galler. I'm a soloist with Miami City Ballet. I am really honored to be taking on Stretch and Strengthening. I'm gonna just take you through some kind of simple exercises that I do during the day to keep myself warm and strong. You're gonna need your towel. So everyone grab their towel, okay? You're also gonna need your weights. Hey, Sarah. You're gonna need your weights. Mine happens to be pink. And in a minute, we're just gonna, we're gonna get started, all right? Let me get my music on. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining. So anything you'd wanna do, you can modify. It's just to give you kind of a basic guideline for stretch and strengthening and a little bit of ballet technique and floor bar. We're gonna do some floor bar today, yeah? So I think that's gonna be good, change it up. So let's just get our music going. All right, if everybody's ready, you need a mat, so, or just something to stand on, even if it's just a towel, anything to just keep your feet calm and spread. And All right, here we go. Everybody ready? First thing, we're just going to move our shoulders, yeah? We're going to do one. And two. You know what? I'm actually going to just touch the, com make sure the comments are off. Turn off. I'm turning off comments for right now, and then I'll come back and I'll, I'll add those back on at the end. And we go one. Breathing in, two. And kind of take in that morning, those morning feels, yeah? I know it's early. We've gotta just get ourselves moving for the week. And let's do our head down and up. We can keep our eyes closed if you'd like. Just getting our necks warm. Down. And up. And uh, all the way back. Let's do one more. Let's keep our knees a little bit bent, yeah? It protects our back. We're starting to pull our core in. We bring our head down and a little bit quicker. And uh, down now to the side, let's bring it around and stretch out that neck. 
and again, keeping our knees bent and our, our toes starting to spread on the floor. Let's do a few more on this side, rolling our shoulders back. And breathing as you go around. And let's switch sides. Yeah, remember to keep those knees nice and soft. Yeah, we don't want to be in a locked position right away. Okay, so we go down now to the left. And and again. Making sure those shoulders stay down as your neck rolls. We're going to do a few more on this side. And let's do one more for those of you who are just joining. We're just starting to warm up our upper bodies. Anything you feel you need to do today. All right. So let's grab. We're going to clasp our hands together. We're going to just find kind of the back of our head. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bend our knees and we're going to just cave the upper back, opening up the ribs, that first and second ribs up there, breathing into that. Now from here, we're going to expand. Our elbows are going to point to the back and our chest is going to open. It might not go a lot, yeah? It's waking up those little muscles in the chest, so we breathe in and exhale. And again, breathing in. You should start to feel a stretch kind of up through your, your head, actually, all the way down through the middle back. And let's bring it last one and open feel that upper chest and upper back opening good should start to feel shake it out a little bit all right so now we're crossing our right hand over to our left shoulder yeah the elbow is going to hit going to try that's the goal the shoulder on the left yeah you're going to bring up your left hand you're going to just pull your your arm across from here, you're gonna turn your head. Remember, we're keeping our knees soft. I have to remember that, I do forget that. Keeping our knees soft, head to the right. Feel a push down in those shoulders, just easy. Now from there, you're gonna just put your hand on the top of your left shoulder blade in the back. You should feel a little bit of a higher stretch up on the top of the arm. And Let's switch sides. We bring our left arm up, we bring it across our body. We turn our head to the left. When you're ready, you just place your hand on your shoulder blade. And let's exhale in this position. Inhale and exhale. Good. That should hopefully be letting you open up your chest your upper back a little bit of thoracic spine yeah okay next we're gonna just start moving our feet a bit yeah we're gonna do a roll and uh, two we're gonna make our way down to the floor in a few minutes after our series rolling through the feet you want to feel like your toes are really spreading we're not we're not you know too grounded we're just rolling easy through the feet from here we're going to take a nice deep plie we're going to drop the back down the elbows drop hands lay flat on the ground you breathe in and as you exhale you're going to roll up belly button to the spine and we come up and let's repeat and oh one knees stay straight towards your wall yeah three and four pulling up in our core starting to activate the mid part of our body which is what we're getting warm now 
Now let's take another roll. Those of us who are, those of you who are just joining, we're just making our way down to the floor. We've warmed up our upper body. We take an inhale. And we roll up, belly button comes to your spine. You let your arms dangle as they will. And let's do two more sets. And two. And three. You can keep your feet slightly in front of you. And six, we activate our turnout. These are our turnout muscles, yeah? As we put our heel on the ground, we're activating our turnout muscles. From there, we roll down with a little bit of a curve in the back. Release the back. We have one more of these to go. Breathing in. Exhaling. Belly button to the spine. Good. And a one. Last set. Two. And a three. And four, five, find your intention for the day. What's our goal? What's our goal for the week? And let's make our way down to the floor. Three and four. We inhale, let that neck kind of drop a bit. Breathe into this part of the back. In and exhale. Good, you did it. Four sets, yeah? Now, we're gonna bring our right foot back to a long fourth position. From here, we're just gonna hold. You should start to feel a good stretch in the top of the leg and a little bit in the calf muscle, yeah? From here, we're gonna bend our left leg just a hair, keeping our bodies straight down. There should be a little bit of curve in your middle back, but it, you know the goal is to keep it as straight as you can. You get a deeper stretch in your hamstring. We bend the knee and we strain it. Good, let's keep doing that. A couple more sets. We bend two and we straighten one more and bend and let's take our left arm we cross it over this is actually supposedly helps release some toxins from the body so from inhaling exhaling we're going to go inhale exhale reach that those fingertips towards your ceiling we're pushing our right arm into the ground it's helping you expand your upper body and we come back and let's do one more this time let's come into a long lunge okay we're going to come into a long lunge we're going to place our hands on our knee from here we're going to just roll forward and we come back from the low back the spine hits the belly button hits the spine just as we did going down to the floor and from there you're going to spiral upward and breathing bring try to reach those fingertips to the ceiling and we come back up to our long lunge knee back knee is on the floor we're going to bend forward putting some weight in that front you start to use your glute and you come back up Let's do one more spiral. We go up and out, exhaling. And let's come back up to our long fourth. We place our left foot back into downward dog and we're gonna bring our right foot forward into our long fourth. Making sure you have both knees straight now and you have the back foot that heel has got to stay on the ground, okay? So from here, we just do an easy bend in the right leg, feeling a stretch in the higher part of the hamstring. From there, you extend it, and that stretch goes all the way down to the ground. Now, 
forward with the knee and straightening and again let's do two more forward with the right knee and straighten and one more good everybody all right so from here we're going to bring our right arm flip your hair over right arm goes up to that ceiling you reach 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 and you're going to find you have less of a twist on one side than the other yeah now we're going to bring our knee left knee down to the floor right knee bent we place our hands on our knee and we just push down into the front leg from here we're going to breathe let's have a little port de bras yeah a little bit of an upper back then you go forward from here we place our left hand down we string all the way up all the way up reaching up opening that right side of the chest and we come back to our long lunge from here we breathe in and over you should start to feel a little work in that right leg and up and let's do one more and inhale that back leg is just calm yeah you have your toes tucked under and from here we just open that chest for those of you just joining we're just making our way down to the floor okay from here let's put our knee our right leg back meets the left we're in downward dog we're just going to roll through the feet open up those toes try to reach your pinky toe down and your heel down pinky toe down and let's come to a seated position okay how's everybody doing looks like we're still doing pretty well here all right so let's grab our towel okay everybody that has a towel or just something to wrap around their foot i like this long towel because i feel like i can also like pull because it has a long, good length yeah okay so we're going to lay down on our backs you're going to straighten out the left leg on the floor as like like mine yeah we're going to extend our right leg to a 90 degree angle from here make sure everyone your left hip has to stay down if you think if you start to open up like this we're not getting the stretch that we need okay so from here now your knee can also be bent you're just going to get a higher stretch up on the leg from here you're going to push into the towel and then we're going to release the foot yeah so you're pushing into the towel with the ball of your foot pushing in to the towel and you should find a slight release we pull the towel back when you release your foot your big toe the goal is for it to come down a little bit more so we push in again and we release let's do two more remember to breathe left leg is long on the ground breathing good let's switch legs <clears throat> left leg comes up to 90 degree you put the towel over the ball of the foot and we push into the towel and pull the toes back pushing in and we're going to do two more on this side into the towel and back down 
and in, good, and let's just place our towel down on the floor. All right, staying on our backs. So, most important series that I do for myself, yeah, it's a core series, it protects your low, low back. There's tiny little muscles back there. If you protect your low, you work on your low core, it's as kind of protecting as a wrap around, yeah? So the tighter this is, the safer you are, okay? So this is a series that I like to do every day. So first, first part, you're gonna be on your back, okay? You're gonna make sure your knees are up, your, your, le your feet are at your hip width, yeah, they're hip width apart. Knees are st pointing straight up to the ceiling. You're gonna place your hands just right at the back of your back, yeah? Palm down. We're gonna breathe in. You pull your ribs in like if you're zipping a jacket, you flatten your stomach. So you don't want to you don't want to stick out your stomach, right? We want to to maximize core strength. You have to flatten, and then become kind of like you're in neutral. You don't want to be tucked, and the fl the flatter the back on the floor, you don't want to want to completely be flat. Yeah, you want to leave a little space back there. So first thing, we're gonna do marches. So we lift our left leg, our right leg up to tabletop, but our left side of the back is gonna wanna twist, yeah? So the goal of this exercise is that you activate the left side of the core and you keep your low back, there should be a little space, but you should feel these little tiny, tiny muscles protecting the spine activate. So we do one, now we switch, left leg comes to tabletop, pointing our feet, yeah? Toe hits the ground first, we lift three, the lift of the leg comes from your core, so let your core lift your leg. Ribs are in. Five. And remember, your hands are back there, but you can also place them to the side if you'd like. Six, we're gonna do 10 of these. At your own pace as you need. and nine and ten good so the le less is more yeah the more you just focus on those little muscles the stronger you're gonna get so we open our right leg out as a clamshell we keep our left hip on the ground this is the second one we're gonna do ten of these now keeping the right hip those right back muscles active I like to put my arms on the side, so. Ribs are down, shoulders are down. You're calm. And seven, left side stays on the mat. Don't let it open when you open your right side. And you should feel your inner thighs shaking a bit. If you've never done this, you might feel that. All right, so third exercise. We bring our foot up to tabletop. The right foot is flexed. We extend to a pointed position. We come back in to tabletop, not past it, yeah? The goal is to keep it at the 90 degree angle and we place it on the floor. So this is just using our core a little bit more. It's just seeing how we did on those other two exercises. So we're gonna do 10 at your own speed. Remember to push, resist, and then keep your back from arching. So you're pulling in together, up with the ribs as you extend your leg and then allowing it to come back and you open the core again. And we have flex, we push like if you're in a pool of water. Pushing and and 
Couple more. Ribs are down, flat on the floor. And last one coming up, making sure our knee's facing the ceiling. Yeah, we don't want to open it up or let it fall in, okay? Toe points directly to your wall. Your legs are parallel with each other. All right, so next one. Grab your weights or your soup cans or anything you have. Empty wine bottles, whatever you have that's a little bit heavy, has a little bit of resistance, okay? So we're gonna go back on the floor. Now we're gonna utilize everything we just worked on. So legs come to tabletop, arms come straight above your head. From here, you're gonna use opposite arm, opposite leg. Right arm, left leg, the right leg taps the floor. I said that wrong. Right leg, left arm. So the right leg taps the floor, the left arm comes to your ear, and together you pull them back up. Making sure our legs are really at tabletop. Yeah, that 90 degree angle is really important, okay? So, we're gonna do 20. We do, and uh, one. Keep that core engaged. Don't let it that back, you don't wanna let that back arch, so that means you have to let the core activate the leg. The leg is an aftermath, yeah. We're pointing our feet, keeping our toes nice and long. Straightening down to the floor with those feet. Reach a little bit out. If you want to do a little bit more of an advanced version, you can reach a little bit more with that right leg when you reach it down to the floor. If you want to do a modified, you can just place it down, touch your toe to the floor, and come back up. And go at your own pace. I have about 10 more. Making sure you use those, those ribs down on the floor. Low core is still pulled up. It's not, it doesn't move at all. Flatten that stomach. Couple more. Right. Now let's keep our legs up in tabletop. We bring both weights together. We drop our arms, keeping our elbows together as much as you can. Shoulders are down. Arms, hands drop behind your head and up a little tricep and down. Now you're going to feel your hip flexors and your core getting a little bit fatigued and that's good. So we'll just do 10 of these at your own pace. Shoulders stay down, weights just go right to the top of your head and back and you will feel a little bit of a shake. All right, good everybody. Let's place our weights down and we're gonna just, um, we're just gonna stay on our backs for a, a bit longer. We're gonna do a little floor bar. So legs go straight up to the ceiling, okay? You're gonna flex and you're just gonna, now everything we worked on in our core, we're gonna just do a little bit of a wave with our legs. So feet flex, the heel pushes towards your wall if you start to arch, you've gone too far. You roll your legs back up with your core. Heels, legs stay together as much as possible. Down, you bring your knees back up as a wave. And down, and let's do one more. And pushing our hands down into the floor, let that, let that floor help you. Now we rotate our legs out, yeah? We've turned out, we're in a nice first position. From here we plie, 
we push up to the ceiling and we point our feet. And let's plie roll through, shoulders stay down, and we pull up, thighs touch, knees touch, calves up, touch, and then your goal, of course, are your toes. <laughs> and we plie, and push, 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 inner thighs are waking up, waking up, waking up, good. One more, and push, 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 okay. Good, everyone, we rotate them back in. We bring it to tabletop and we place it down. Let's come to our side, okay? We're gonna just be up on our elbow. Place yourself, legs are parallel, legs are straight in line with everything else, yeah? Shoulders, head, everything like that. We flex our right foot. We bring it to the front, we bring it to the back. The goal of this is to not move, right? We wanna keep it flexed, rotated. We start to work the outer leg. We bring it front with the heel. All that core work we just did should stabilize you. Your derriere, the rotator muscles are active. You do one and push to the back with that heel. The heel pushes towards the back. Leg is parallel and back. And three. Right arm is forcing itself into the ground, left elbow is placed. I know if I could see everyone, they would be doing great. So just keep going, you're doing awesome. And let's do two more. And good, last one, okay. Now we bring our foot to a, a turned in passe. The goal of this is to not drop your oblique. If you're seated down in your oblique, the exercise is not using the core properly. You wanna pull up that left oblique on this side. So we pull up, we passe open. Passe, you wanna have your toe at your knee. Knee is out, slight diagonal, even though your goal is to have it directly side, slight diagonal. From here, we're using our glute and outer, that's our jump muscle. Yeah, the side, side muscle that activates near your IT band. So we lift it out and that's what brings our knee out. We're pushing into the ground and we come back in. This is hard because you're gonna wanna sit into your side, yeah? Keep that elbow pushed down into the ground. Let's do a few more. And one more. Left leg is straight and pointed as if you were standing. And we come back down. Good. Let's switch sides. All right. We're up on our elbow. You can see a little bit more clearly on this side. Left leg is into the ground, okay? So we flex our left. Pointed, right foot's pointed. Flexing our left, lifting up our oblique on the right side. We push forward. Remember, core is held. And we hold this one. This one I move a little bit more, yeah? So I have to really think about where my core is. And you're pulling up as if you're standing. So pull up, we're standing up fully, utilizing our length, yeah? You want to be as long as possible. And let's do three more. Pulling in our stomach, pushing in our left hand to the ground. And when you come to the front, you're going to want to feel your core. Your core is going to want to kind of tuck in. You're going to kind of resist that. Good. All right, next part. So pointed feet. We turn out our left foot, we place it on our knee, passe position. Hips should be completely level. You put a, you turn in, you lift it with this outside muscle. You place it in, knee goes directly front, keep our obliques pulled up. And left 
derriere, glutes, everything pulls that knee out to the side and out and two more. Your hands, your, your arms are going to get tired, but this is a full body strengthening exercise. Good. And we flex and we come down. All right. Seated position. So from here, we have our feet straight forward. Like if you're pushing onto a wall, arms come into first position. Those of you that know, this is first position. Those of you that don't, finding our belly button, placing our hands outside of our belly button directly in that line. You want to pretend like you're holding a bowl of something, flowers, anything, basket. From here, we're going to bring our arms to fifth. You extend that the same position frames your face. So from here, we lift up. We're going to do a little bit of stretching up and over. We reach. Let's point our feet nose to knees and we roll up with the stomach same roll we did before and we bring our arms to fifth extend reach as far as you can push it a little bit hard push it a little bit more try to see how far you can go and we roll up head is last let's open our arms knees come up okay we tap our right and our left and our right and our left right and left right and left we open our right knee and we slide the left knee now you're in a nicely pulled up all that core work we did now we're going to start using our quads yeah so really keep in mind all that work we just did on the floor hands are on our hips we extend and a one we're going to pick it up and three Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Same thing, we open our legs a little bit, bending our knees, we tap our feet, and this is waking up our shins. This is a great warm up for class for every day, anything that you're doing. And we get ready to extend. And to push something away, push the floor, yeah? Push the side of the wall. Keeping those shoulders down. And nine and 10. Let's come back in to parallel. We're gonna rotate our legs, point our feet, bring them up together. From here, we extend our leg we do a little circle with our toe and we come back into a pointed plie, yeah? We point our left foot, we circle with that toe, you draw a little line on the wall and you come back. Let's do that again. Arms come to second, also come. We open the right leg, we circle, you're using your core, you're using your inner thigh and you're using your upper back, left leg and circle, push, point towards that wall. Let's do two more. And rotate, draw a little line on that wall. And one more, good. And we come into butterfly. All right, a little stretching. So, we reach our right arm to the floor. Just become, get in a comfortable position. It doesn't have to be super pulled in. It can be open a little bit. In fact, I feel like I get a better stretch when it's just a little bit of a wider position. So we reach our right arm over to the floor. We're bringing our left arm up. We're looking towards that elbow. From here, we open up the chest. We're going back. We've worked now. We've strengthened and now we're going to stretch it out. It's better to stretch a little bit after you strengthen. And we come up. Let's go over again. Over trailing the wrist. We look down to that elbow. You'll notice you can go a little bit further this time. We open, we look up to that elbow, into that elbow. 
you get a higher stretch. Should feeling, you should be feeling it up here. And we open, let's go other side. Left arm down, we pour in a bra. We bring that right arm over to frame our head. We breathe in and out. We look up and we open. One more time. Over, we can put our left elbow down on the floor, feet are together, we look down to that elbow, and then we look up and open that arm a little bit, and good. Finishing off, yeah? We're rolling forward, two, and we're coming up, two, and again, forward, two and uh, up with the stomach you should feel your whole body is connected now so chest goes forward your it bands are getting stretched out the last thing to go down towards your feet is your forehead your top of your head you roll up through every vertebrae and let's come up to standing to finish off for today Grab onto something if you have it to hold. We're just gonna feel our placement of things since we did all that work. We just wanna feel everything stacked on top of yourself. So from here, we're just gonna do plie. Let's roll it up. And we open, straightening those legs, straightening, straightening. We come down and when we come down, we go up. And again, plie. Heels come off the floor, they go towards your front. Shoulders are back. You should feel a pretty good feeling of calmness. I feel very calm and really opened, yeah? Opened up, my muscles feel like they're ready for the day. Let's do a tanu second. We're gonna do the same thing. Arm comes to first, plie. We roll up, heels come off the ground. We straighten, 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 kneecaps up, and the heels come down, but our body stays up. And let's do one more, plie, and straighten, and we come back to first position. We're gonna just take a grand plie. Now, knees go directly side, arm coordinates with knees, we go down, we come right back up, heels go right into the ground, chest is open, you should feel really stacked vertebrae, hips, knees, grand plie, ankles and toes. And we push the floor away and let's do two, tendu, second. Plie, grand, knees go out, heels stay down, and open. Breath up and you exhale, but your body goes up as you go down towards the floor. And a tondu and finish. All right. I hope everyone enjoyed that. How was that for everyone? I'd love to hear feedback. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. I'll be, um, you know, if there's anything else you guys want to see or work on, please let me know. Hi, Doris. I was hoping you would join. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. I hope it covered, you know, variety of things, a little strength, a little core work, a little bit of ballet to get you going for the week and just keep in mind your intention for the week ahead and um, it was amazing that you got up and took with me I appreciate it we're here to help you yeah so anything we can do and I hope you'll join me again oh good to hear I'm glad thank you oh good thank you 
Leo Leona, thank you so much. I appreciate it. It's lovely to hear from our audiences, our fans. We're here for you. So anything we can do, and I'm gonna add some more floor bar next week. We're gonna do a little bit of things on our stomach, some work in the back, yeah? Yes, this class will be up on YouTube later. So if you wanna take it again, yeah, every week there's classes, yeah? So keep, keep an eye on Miami City Ballet's Instagram. You can follow along and just keep an eye on their class list. They, they send it out um, on their Instagram every week. So just keep, keep a, maybe take a photo of it. Oh, that's great. Thank you for joining. <laughs> Thank you so much. So I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys soon. All right. Bye. And make sure to check YouTube because it will be on YouTube. Yeah, so you can do it. All the classes that have been taking place are now up there. So check Miami City Ballet's YouTube channel, okay? Thank you guys.